Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Andy in Singapore. If you haven't done so, I'd like to remind you to like and subscribe to my channel because I've got new videos uploaded every week just for you. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. I would say it's a little bit special as well. It is actually Christmas Eve and we are nearing lunch. You can see from all the time settings here on these watches and I'm going to do a video to share with you on the highlights of the year in terms of purchases. So in other words, I'm going to share with you on my favorite watches that I've bought this year. Admittedly, I didn't buy that many watches this year, right? Uh, I think I bought a few watches, okay? My wife is very near me, so I have to say on the internet that I bought a few watches. So mainly G-Shocks and inexpensive watches. And uh, I think I've sort of slowed down in terms of watch purchases because I think um, these days, not many watches have excited me or I don't feel the need to buy repeated uh, watches of the same models or the same brand and as such I think I've slowed down quite a bit in terms of watch purchasing but of course being the watch fan that I am the watch buddy that I am of course there are times where I become very weak I couldn't resist all the really nice watches or the really good deals and all that and today I will share with you my top three purchases of 2022 and you're looking at the honorable mentions over here all right so these are not my top choices they are the honorable mentions i think these three watches uh, they're quite cool on their own as well and you know coincidentally they're all blue dial watches all right so let me just run through with you my top three buys of 2022 coming in third placing is this san martin pilot watch here and it is a really nice 37 millimeters quartz watch okay so i didn't really buy this watch okay at first it was a loan set from san martin and from glenn and subsequently when i wanted to buy it off glenn he said you know andy you can just keep it all right so it becomes a gift for me and i would consider this as the buy in 2022 i got this one in early 2022 i reviewed this one in january and i really love this watch all right this watch here is of the right size it's got a really nice swiss movement and everything on this watch is to my liking okay it's got this all satin brush finishing all right and i love this clasp and buckle over here all right the newer style where it is just trigger buttons and no more safety flip lock and this style here with the texturing you can see it's just amazing all right it is not an outright homage of any expensive watch or any other brands although it is inspired from some kind of dirty dozen pilot or fuel watch vintage kind of style and i think the design here is very much their own all right it's not an outright copy and i love the overall design as well as the fit and wearability of this watch. i guess i'm also very lucky to be able to get a good fit on this bracelet here and it just wears so well very comfortable 37 millimeters k size only 10 millimeters thick overall just a joy to wear right it's a shame i haven't been wearing this watch very much i think i must have worn it about two to three times since acquiring it and i do have a slight complaint about this watch okay so it has got plenty of sharp edges the watch is not badly finished all right it's not rough it's just sharp so sharp edges here on the underside of the bracelet sharp edges here at the underside of the locks and all that so if only they could improve on this i think this watch is going to be a winner coming in at number two is the citizen chrono master here also known as the washi dial the citizen all right so aq 4020-54y and this watch i bought this one very recently i think just about three weeks back i haven't actually done a full review on this one and i'm going to share with you all the good and bad points about this watch but for me this watch is a highlight in 2022 because of all the technological marvels found in the watch so i'm gonna start from the overall construction this one here is a full titanium build okay and it's coated titanium coated with some kind of duratec coating and you sort of get a really good scratch resistance on the finishing here i love the fact again that it is mostly brushed with chamfers here that are polished and even on the mid links over here so again this watch is very 
good size comes in at about 37.5 millimeters and 10.7 millimeters thick if i'm not wrong so overall in terms of size and proportions i've gone on to prefer smaller watches that are easier to wear and less likely to knock onto shelves and the doorway and when we talk about the insides all right the inner beauty of this watch the citizen chronomaster here is powered by the a 060 movement and this one here is accurate to plus minus five seconds per year all right i'm going to repeat that i didn't make a mistake all right it's plus minus five seconds a year i think in terms of movement here for me this is highly accurate and of course we've got other things such as this paper dial washi paper dial over here all right so i think my studio lighting here it doesn't do justice to this dial here okay so in person it looks very different and i would say it looks gorgeous and of course those floating logos or floating prints the chrono master print as well as the citizen logo they are also quite unique. so overall i would say the build quality materials used and the technology found in this watch i would say it's unrivaled in my very humble collection perpetual calendar high accuracy i'm just loving this watch but again this watch is not perfect i'm going to share with you some of the downsides of this watch in my full detail review so on hand i can tell you i'm not a big fan of this unsigned crown here okay i don't know why uh, they bother to put in so much effort here there everywhere from the movement to the bracelet to the case to the coating and all that but they decided not to put in a signed crown and my top purchase top watch in 2022 would be this g-shock square the gw5000 this is the u model the updated or upgraded model. and to be very honest with you i surprised myself or right? i never expected to love the g-shock square this much i've never been a fan of g-shock squares or in fact i've never been a fan of digital watches in particular because i've always preferred you know two hands three hands for telling time but this watch here is just amazing it's a classic in terms of design it's an icon all right all the way from 1983 and the design didn't really change okay so we've got plenty of upgrades in terms of module and also to the strap to the hardware and this and that to the case bag and all, all sorts of stuff but you know as a watch here this is just amazing if you're talking about a practical watch a watch that will last you a long time a watch that takes you everywhere anywhere do anything i think you don't have to look further from the casio gw5000u okay so it looks very understated very boring sort of a gray monotone gray black kind of thing <laughs> but when you hold this watch in person when you wear it all right and especially for me normally i'm clad in sportswear so this watch really fits me and my lifestyle very well and it is also good to know that you're owning a piece of history so here you can see on my wrist that this watch here is neither too big nor too small all right so it really fits that sporty vibe very well without looking overly exaggerated and of course it's positive display so i hope you enjoy my sharing of my top purchases of the year all right feel free to comment in the section below and share with me your thoughts and your best purchases or your most preferred buys of the year and here's andy in singapore wishing you merry christmas and a great festive season with your loved ones have a great time i'll see you soon bye bye